against the blood and hatred in the air. Yeah, like for example, I mean, look at this huge building here. You know, it's a Victorian style building. Palazzo così in un'altra città può valere qualche milione di dollari. Of course, of course, yeah. Yes, this is the tragedy of the situation. And you know, you just look all up and down this street. I mean, like here, this used to be, uh, you know, apartment buildings. Over here, it used to be apartment buildings. All up and down this street. Uh, you can see now there are only <coughs> one, two, three, three homes on this street. So this is the Renaissance Center. This is the world headquarters of General Motors Corporation. So it's quite an ironic uh, scene. We have all this devastation here. And then we look and we see the uh, General Motors, which is also facing uh, bankruptcy itself. L'ironia amara della crisi attuale la si percepisce più di ogni altro posto qui davanti alla villa che Harry Ford si fece costruire all'apice del successo, dove troviamo un pignoramento in corso. This is the Boston Edison Historic District and it was one of the wealthiest neighborhoods uh, in this city, if not the country. Uh, it was built, the homes here were built like in the early part of the 20th century and they were constructed by the American industrialists like Henry Ford and Dodge and Kresge. And the effects of it are just devastating. In the Detroit area alone, in Detroit's a city of about, eight, about almost 900,000 people, we've had over 72,000 homes foreclosed in the last two years. Every single day, hundreds of people lose their home to foreclosure. It's the busiest eviction court in the country, the district court in Detroit. The, there are more people tossed out of their homes every day in that court. And 99% of the people have no representation. Le conseguenze di uno sfratto a volte sono inimmaginabili. There was a, a family recently in Highland Park, which is a, a suburb, but it's a very poor suburb of Detroit, where the people lost their home to foreclosure. They essentially just found an abandoned home, went into the home, but you know, they didn't have any heat. So they, uh, I, I believe they were either using a space heater or doing something to try to heat their home and caught on fire and, and the whole family lost their lives. We lead the nation in child deaths in Detroit and many of those deaths are due to are, are due to fires and a lot of the fires are because people are forced to move into abandoned homes. Ed ogni giorno che passa le voci individuali si uniscono in un coro, un coro che coinvolge milioni di persone, interi quartieri, intere città. Ad Amtramic i pignoramenti sono nella stessa piazza del municipio. On my street and and I live on a nice street in Amtramic there are at least seven in one block seven empty homes. City of Detroit was the fifth largest city in the United States, a real, really vibrant city um, in the 50s and 60s. And it, its population peaked in the 1950s at almost 2 million. Karen Majewski guarda con orgoglio la fabbrica della General Motors che tiene in vita Amtramic la città di cui è sindaco, intorno le cicatrici delle battaglie passate e quelle nuove appena aperte di una guerra che ogni giorno segna una piccola sconfitta. In 1979 it was announced that the plant was closing and that was that was the the lifeblood of the city of Hamtramck. Um what happened then is was actually pretty controversial. built around the auto industry and we've been dependent on it for our survival for you know our whole our, our whole history um, it's hard to imagine how we could survive um, what we would do without 36% of our budget how do you pay for police how do you pay for fire how do you have the streets paved how do you um, pick up the garbage you know just kind of the basic city services Ci 
Bishop Ellis, il vescovo Ellis, dal pulpito della sua mega chiesa evangelica, è convinto che neanche l'intervento di Washington sia più sufficiente. Ci vuole la mano diretta del Padre Eterno. La messa porta sull'altare la causa di tanta disperazione, le macchine, e invita tutti a pregare per l'industria dell'auto. All of you that work for the automotive industry come to the altar with Jesus on our side. Jesus on our side. How many of y'all know things will work out? Things will work out. Ci chiarisce il concetto di cosa sia l'effetto cascata, di come possa cancellare dalla mappa geografica intere città. If a plant closes then the Coney Island across the street from the plant, it probably goes out of business. The party store around the corner from the plant, it probably goes out of business. Think about if the big three fail. Uh, those individuals now uh, are jeopardized with their homes making their house notes, jeopardized with their cars making their car notes. If you don't have a car, you don't need car insurance. So now people working for AAA and Allstate and uh, State Farm and, and Geico, now all of those people are jeopardized. L'effetto è chiaro entrando al New Dodge, nome che è tutto un programma. La proprietaria è una dura, abituata a lottare, le dico bel locale, mi risponde sì bello, ma come vedi non ci sono culi sulle seggiole. Most of the bars and restaurants in this town rely on the automotive for business, for food and drink. And everybody's feeling the crunch. We, 25 years ago when I bought this bar, there was 212 bars. Al bancone si raccontano le storie di una comunità morente. Well, I had a young man in here last week. I had met his wife. He just wife just had another baby. He took a buyout from American Axel. And he's in the process of moving to Tennessee. Here we shall overcome. E dalla fine, a morire è il sogno americano. A kind of a feeling of depression, a sort of a, a psychological um, sadness, if you will. It's sort of like we had this fabulous economy back in the 50s and 60s. And now much of that has, has gone. Uh, and the opportunities that were available to somebody without a whole lot of education. In this land, when I grew up, this was the land of opportunity. People are coming here to get, you know, to make a, a, a life for their families and things like that. Why? If you're going to have a government that's like that, why? You might as well stay where you were at. That's the way I feel.